Assessing military capabilities and expanding knowledge of the capabilities of our nation's allies in the Indo-Asia Pacific region. That's the goal of a trip to Guam by a congressional delegation led by chairman of the Sea Power and Projection Forces Subcommittee of the House Armed Services Committee Congressman Rob Whitman. Whitman is currently here in Guam along with Congresswoman Malin Berdalio meeting with local military officials. The delegation is also visiting with nearby countries including Japan, South Korea, Taiwan and India. We had an opportunity to have some very frank and direct conversations with those countries, with our military leaders and also understanding what needs to be done in the future. Also for them to understand not just United States concerns, but also uh, the concerns of Guam. As for the one-day visit to Guam, Berdalio says they met with Anderson Air Force Base Commander Brigadier General Douglas Cox and Joint Region Marianas Commander Rear Admiral Shoshana Chatfield. We were out at Anderson Air Force Base. We went out on the flight line and looked at the bombers out there and uh, also visited with the Navy. So um, you could be assured that we have a strong uh, military presence. However, concerns over readiness in the region linger after two naval warships, the USS John McCain and USS Fitzgerald, experienced fatal collisions in the past few months. I was down there uh, just looking right into the huge uh, hole in the side of that ship. It was, it was horrific. We had a very frank conversation of a classified nature. Uh, with the new commander of the 7th Fleet, uh, Admiral Sawyer, uh, and we had, I believe, the type of constructive dialogue that we need to understand how these things happen, understand what is the Navy doing to make sure these things don't happen in the future. Whenever there's anything like this, they always think, well, maybe terrorism or whatever the case might be, but um, that, terror, that uh, investigation is ongoing. I still think that the elements of diplomacy, as well as military options should all should all be considered. I think everybody though fully understands the ramifications of military action. But heated rhetoric like this is not going to get us anywhere. Whitman emphasized that a unified and multilateral approach is needed to help deter North Korea from further provocations and advancement of its nuclear program, adding that China is a key player due to its economic influence. It can't be the United States acting unilaterally. The delegates will be sharing the findings of this trip with Congress as well as Defense Secretary James Mattis and Secretary of State Rex Tillerson upon their return to Washington, D.C. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza.